What is a satellite? A satellite doesn't necessarily have to be a tin can spinning through space. The word satellite is more general than that, it means a smaller, space-based object moving in a loop, an orbit, around a larger object. The moon is a natural satellite of Earth, for example, because gravity locks it in orbit around our planet. The tin cans we think of as satellites are actually artificial, human-built, satellites that move in precisely calculated paths, circular or elliptical, oval, at various distances from Earth, usually well outside its atmosphere. What do satellites do for us? We tend to group satellites either according to the jobs they do or the orbits they follow. These two things are, however, very closely related because the job a satellite does usually determines both how far away from Earth it needs to be, how fast it has to move, and the orbit it has to follow. The three main uses of satellites are communications. Communications satellites are essentially used to relay radio waves from one place on Earth to another, catching signals that fire up to them from a ground station and Earth-based satellite dish amplifying them so they have enough strength to continue and modifying them in other ways and then bouncing them back down to a second ground station somewhere else. Those signals can carry anything radio signals can carry on the ground from telephone calls and internet data to radio and TV broadcasts. Communications satellites essentially overcome the problem of sending radio waves which shoot in straight lines around our curved planet intercontinental signals Uplinks and downlinks If you want to send something like a TV broadcast from one side of Earth to the other, there are three stages involved. First, there's the uplink, where data is beamed up to the satellite from a ground station on Earth. Next, the satellite processes the data using a number of onboard transponders radio receivers, amplifiers, and transmitters. These boost the incoming signals and change their frequency, so, incoming signals don't get confused with outgoing ones. Different transponders in the same satellite are used to handle different TV stations carried on different frequencies. Finally, there's the downlink, where data is sent back down to another ground station elsewhere on Earth. Although there's usually just a single uplink, there may be millions of downlinks. For example, if many people are receiving the same satellite TV signal at once, while a communications satellite might relay a signal between one sender and receiver, fire it up into space and back down again, with one uplink and one downlink, satellite broadcasts typically involve one or more uplinks, for one or more TV channels, and multiple downlinks, to ground stations or individual satellite TV subscribers. What's inside a satellite? Labeled parts of a typical communications satellite, I've left the original numbers on the diagram and I won't bother to label them all, since some are obvious and some are duplicates of others. The most interesting bits are the fold-out solar panels that power the satellite, the sending and receiving antennas that collect signals coming up from Earth and send them back down, and the motors and engines that keep the satellites in exactly the right position at all times, four large parabolic dish antenna for sending receiving signals. Orange, five small parabolic dish antenna for sending receiving signals orange six lower solar battery of four solar panels red seven upper solar battery of four more solar panels red eight supports fold out the lower solar panels once the satellite is in orbit gray brown nine supports fold out the upper solar panels gray brown ten main satellite rocket motor light blue 11, 12, 15, 17, small control engines keep the satellite in its precision, position, spin, and orbit. Green Who invented satellites? The idea of using a satellite as a mirror in space, to bounce signals from one side of Earth to the other, was launched in 1945 by science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke, 1917-2008 who wrote two hugely influential articles setting out his plan in detail one was unpublished, the other published as extraterrestrial relays, can rocket stations give worldwide radio coverage? In Wireless World, October 1945.
His proposal was to place three satellites in a geosynchronous orbit 35,000 kilometers, 23,000 miles.